Yeah. I'm Tucker. Hello. Tucker. Hello, Tucker. Much love. Thank you very much. Welcome I know that there are some questions today, so that is why I came to do a, a short update. So, if Sabrina, you have the questions there, is that correct? Yes. So ask me those few questions. I believe there are some questions in this room as well. Yes. Continue. Okay. So the first one is from Carla Rinaldi. Yeah. Or e. Um. She wanted to know if you had any messages regarding her family, spiritual encounter, and careers. Her family, spiritual encounter. I do not. Just a moment. Your what is your to what? They are influenced by some positive energy. It is good. Yes, they're in, they are experiencing some goodness right now. The energy that is there is now positive. There has been some changes. And the future for your career is also changing in some way. I am not sure. I, I cannot connect that well right now from this distance but there is some changes going on but the the spiritual aspect is what is most interesting is that there has been some changes in the contact in the family and things have changed for the better one moment That is all I can see right now. Continue. Okay. Uh, next one is from Sage. Um, he wanted to know if you had any messages or advice for him. And did he have any past life in the Pleiades? Yes, he did have a past life in the Pleiades. I can see that right now just from his name and that he has brought along some of that energy behind the heart chakra and the sacral chakra. So there are some past lives in his um, present, actually. There are some things that are working in his present from these past lives, and that is why he's asking. Because sometimes he does not feel like he fits into third dimension as well. However, <clears throat> his grounding is... Um, he needs to be a little more grounded. He needs to be a little bit more um, earthbound. His thoughts processes are in the thir fourth dimension and he cannot bring that information back very well. However, he's doing well and he's feeling his alien past lives more right now and they have a message for you. He does have a star seed in the Pleiades that is helping him right now. So, and the message that is for him is that he must, to, to understand what he's going through right now, there is a thing that he is going through that he's not quite connected to, but it is important and that they would like to speak to him and tell him that he needs to be grounded, pull himself up through so that they can give him a message. They will not give it to me because they, it is personal. Okay. But his heart and sacral chakras are very much bright with uh, these Theadian energies. Um, the other thing was that he had told me that lately he wasn't having as many experiences as he used to. Yes. Um, that is all right. They come and they go because of time, well, not time as you know it, but distance and things of other natures, responsibilities that have to be done. You cannot expect to be visited constantly and have messages constantly. It do, They do leave you into a, a state of fourth dimension sometimes and you need to ground after that period. This is your time of understanding what was learned and grounding. 
Okay. Um, now let me see. Now it's lava. Ah, um, lovely. Yes. Um, he said if you have any news from his Yale child, Targa or Anna, <laughs> or anything Targa and Anna. Yes. that I need to know. Anna is doing well. She is with you. She learns from you at times. They are allowing her to come and witness some things that you do on your computer. Uh, not always, but occasionally, if you are doing something different, she will learn your fourth, third dimensional equipment because she will be working with it someday as well. The equipment and technology that she is working with is a more advanced, but she wants to learn what you are doing with your equipment as well. Okay, and he had a message for her. He said, I'm so happy to know that you will live on Earth. I hope to see you soon and to be with you. Um, Tucker said that you are a wonderful child and I can see your beautiful smile inside of me. Hope you yeah. enjoy places, I guess the place where you live. And I just would like to, uh, for you, I just would like that for you to know that. Uh, I'm together with you in your heart and will be always. Wonderful. Um, he also wanted to know, he said it's been a, a while since he asked about DNA infusions. So he's very interested if any of his DNA infusions um, were completed and if it's possible, yeah. can you please give the percentages? He would like to receive uh, Arturian DNA. Yes. There, that all, be them, all the ones that have been given have been complete at this time. The percentages are 6% across the board with his, his infusions. And which one did he say he wanted? Arturian. 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 That will be one moment. Juwaka. Kararandi shutuwati. They are saying that Octorian will start by next Thursday. Okay. Now I have a question from Liney. Sabrina? Hmm? I'm sorry. Since we're on DNA, can I just ask a question about mine? I was just curious. Sure, sure. Okay. Takur, I was just wondering about my uh, DNA, whether or not the infusion I had gotten, but whether it was activated where I'm at, if the learning has come in yet and how would I know? You will not know about the infusion because usually you don't feel much with the infusion. The activation is when you start feeling things. The activation has begun but it is only at 1.5% out of 7. They're going to give you 7%. They feel that there are certain things that you can use from the Lyran that will be very helpful to you. So it will help increase body mass slightly but they have manipulated the DNA to be more suited for communication, clarity of mind and IQ and emotional IQ uplifting. Okay. So therefore it has started to activate. You will start to feel more excited about some things. Your clarity of mind will increase. You will feel like being more social at times. For you that is an unusual Lyran. That's not usually what Lyran DNA does for a person, but in your case it will help with that. Your socialization, you do a lot of socialization but you'll feel more like doing it. There are some times when you feel like it is more of a drudgery or a task, but now you'll feel more like it is something you really want to do. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Sabrina. You're welcome. Anybody else have any more questions in the room with Jim? Yes, Barbara, come here. I've seen you many times. How are you? I'm good. How about you? But anyway, I have a question regarding, um, am I still visiting the colony just recently? One moment and I will find out. Your last visit to the colonies was Gigawa Kishantita Potawa. Yakata. Last visit to the colonies was July 12th. Yes. I just wondered because of a dream that I had. 
Yes. And also, I asked for some infusions. Are those going to be able to be infused or yes. DNA? Yes. One at a time, they will be done. But I do not have the list of them right now. Okay. But um, I believe you asked for Lirin also. Yeah. And um, I believe that's the one that has started because you need the body mass. So. My daughter, how's she doing, Kenza? She is doing wonderful. Mm -hmm. She has actually grown quite a bit in her fourth dimensional energy as of the last three or four months. Her energies have increased and I can tell that she is going to be a channeler and some have very much, she already is a telepath of course and an empath but she d is going to have some psychic energies as well. And how much has she grown? She is now about 2.2 2 feet and 7 inches tall. Oh. Tell her I love her. I will. Thank you. Yikawata. Okay. Um, Hello, Tucker. Yes. It's Hello. Elena. How are you? Very, very well. How are you, my dear? Good. I'm well as well. Can you update me on my current status at the colonies and yes, my next infusion? Yes. You're, you are still a teacher on Colony 2, but you also visit colony one quite a bit. Uh, your channeling abilities have increased and so you went to uh, colony four. So you've been many times to the colonies because you are a teacher there in uh, dietary and exercise. You do, you have a multiple, multiple uh, different things that you do for the humans on the colony as far as health and welfare and uh, exercise, diet, and uh, teaching them what things are good for them. And actually, you use technology from the colonies to let them know exactly what vitamins they need and things of this nature. You are much a great help to many who are overweight and who are needing a better diet. So thank you very much for that. And plus, yes, you do have hybridization that is working in you and it is al already finished. It has been finished for a while now. So, um, do you feel any differences? Yes. I thought you did. Um, your teaching has been very much more individualized recently when you come to the colonies. You spend more time with the individuals and we find that to be very helpful because you, you take a five minute period to spend with each person uh, or more, five, uh, five to ten minutes actually, and let them know exactly what they need and what they should do, do be doing for their health. And I find that to be very refreshing that you know exactly how to deal with each one. Thank you for that part of your empathy because you, you can actually on the colonies when the fourth dimensional energy is strong, you are able to be very intuitive with them and know exactly what they need. And we find this very helpful. And that is why you come a little bit more often than other people. Thank you. Thank you as well. Much love. Much love to you. You are welcome. Um, to Liney wanted to know um, about the meeting. Um, oh, the meeting with the politicians of the earth. Yes. It has not happened yet. There's too many financial problems going on on your planet right now and they are involved heavily in trying to figure how the best way to pull out of this dilemma is. And so they postponed our meeting thinking that it is not a priority at this time. However, they promised that with before September we would meet again. But the financial difficulties that they are having are very dire. And so we know about these things and have understood why they have canceled and postponed three or four times now. <clears throat> okay. Um, interesting you say that. I, I have had several dreams with... Uh, the president and the first lady. Yes. <clears throat> you were an advisor at the council. You have been to the council many times and sometimes you meet in spirit with the president and the first lady, Hillary Clinton and a couple others. 
Okay. Yeah, because I had them once recently. Mm -hmm. um, uh, can you also tell me how Leonardo is doing? How who is doing? My hybrid child. Oh, uh, yeah. Your hybrid child is fine. Okay. And you are doing well. You have visited them one time. Okay. Um, uh, Jasmine also wanted to know if you had a message uh, for her. Who is this? Jasmina. Ah, oh, Jasmina. One moment. Let me connect. Yakwata, San San Shombo, go to water. Tariandata Soto. Ah, Jasmina. Thank you for your efforts. One moment. Ah. Third dimension is really strong with you right now. Um, your fourth dimensional energy G is also strong, but it seems like there is much pulling you into the four third dimension right now, and it's actually activating fourth dimensional energy in a very strange way. Uh, you're pulling up from the ground. You are grounded, and you're pulling down, but that energy is not reaching you at this time because... Uh, there is a lot of different emotions going on with you, and so therefore, just uh, calm yourself as much as possible and reach up, and the fourth dimensional energy will help you to calm and understand how to deal with some of these things that are happening. It's not necessarily all bad. Thank you, Takur. Maria? Good. Hello, Tucker. Yes. Much love. Much love. I have a question about. Um, uh, I asked for several infusion, DNA yes. infusion, and I want to know how which ones I got and how much, or if they are activated at all. Yes, you have gotten. One moment, please. Yes, you asked for several different ones. They started with the Pleiadian. And it, it is activated at 6%. Now, the Pleiadian has the least amount of effect on humans at times. In your case, that is the uh, you do feel somewhat different. It will affect your communicative skills and your emotional IQ, which means that you will understand spirituality a little better, emotions a little better, and how people are dealing with you. Remember, however, that whenever someone puts anything negative on you it is their problem and not yours do not let them hurt you because your positivity is not part of that do you understand that yeah but it's hard I know I know there are people putting negative things on you right now and and you do not have to accept those I'm just letting you know that thank they, you they are not for you to accept because look at them with their unconditional love and all you can see is the good in them. But if you look into their brain, you will see their problems are their problems, and they're trying to put them on you, but that is not what you should accept, okay? Yes. Please be pure, and do not accept these problems, and tell them that you love them anyway, and that you will pray for them, and that you understand that this is... that they are trying to even help but they are putting on negativity on you, and it is not a good thing. You do not have to accept it and reject it, and just bring out the love within yourself, and do not accept this. And if you have accepted some of it, which you have, <laughs> please let that drain out of you through Mother Earth, through Mother, ask her to take that negativity away from you, and ask her to re rework that into a positive energy and move it back up because you're accepting these things and bringing it in your, to yourself and they are not for you to accept. They are not true. Are they not true? They're not true, are they? No. Well then, do not accept them. Okay. 
So besides Pleiadian, I didn't get anything else. I thought they I got have, Arcturian. Yes, they have. Yeah, they have started Arcturian. Uh, well, you had already the Arcturian, did you not? Yes. Yes. They uh, they had started the Lyran. I'm sorry. Yeah. They have started the Lyran. It is only infused up to four percent. You are getting six percent. It is not activated yet, but it's being infused now at four. It is up to four percent. And Yael? Has not started yet. No, and Elohim has not started yet. Elohim must will be the last one, and it will have to be. They have given permission for it, but they must see how all the other activations go before they will bring it into your body, because they will look at how everything is moving together and how the how uh, they are activated and what yes. feelings that you are getting. And then the Elohim will be the very last one, but they must study you before they will do it because they are not part of Gruk Fiknir and they are on their own when it comes to giving DNA and they are, they are a special DNA that is only given to those that can handle it or those that they find that they will want to give to. So then you will be, you, they have already approved you to some extent, but they do want to make sure that everything is fine after all the other infusions. Yes, and I already feel them and they're communicating with me. They are communicating, yes. Much love, Ticker. I Much love Much love. I love you as well. Please don't accept these negative things into you because you do not need that. It is Fear, and let me give you a very, very small message that many, many need right now. Fear and doubt, fear and doubt and acceptance of these kind of negative energies. Stop yeah. progress, stop progress, stop progress. Fear and doubt, the biggest destroyers of success that there is, biggest destroyer of success. Because if you fear and doubt, you, you do not step into, you don't take chances, you don't follow through because you say, oh, that's never going to happen, that's never going to be that, that's never going to, I, I'm never, 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 never. And y y these are negative words and you cannot use them because fear and doubt destroy those things that are, should come to you even faster because of your belief systems, they should come quickly. Yes. But, but yes. fear and doubt, which you have much of right now. Okay. Do not, yes. Do not accept it. Get rid of that. Does that fear help? Does is it if I if I work on myself, is that going to help me to move through with my life situation? Even? Actually, everything. Fear and doubt. Okay. If you bring fear and doubt, it blocks all the wonderful good things. There are some things that are part of your contract, of course, that will come through. However, fear and doubt will bro block all the wonderful extras, the prosperity, the jobs, the things like this that are beautiful and wonderful, the joy, the happiness, the wisdom, the things of spirit that want to come through. They cannot... This is your, your intent is to keep this fear and good you may not intend it but it becomes an intent when you keep it going you understand that you yes. may say oh my intent is not to have fear or doubt but yet you keep it going and so therefore it becomes part of who you are and nothing can break through that that is extra the spirituality the growth the prosperity blocked by these things. You must understand that. Namaste. Oh, namaste. I must go now. There are others that need to come through. Okay, Tukur. Thank you. Much love, Tukur. Much love to you, Tukur. Much love. And namaste. Namaste. Ah. Oh. Yawata. Wuha. Yes.